Hello, uh, I'm Miranda Herrick. I'm a visual artist. I also uh, work in a gallery, so I sell artwork, I hang artwork, uh, so very much immersed in art. Uh, this is a piece that I made. It's made out of garbage uh, or recycling, if you, if you want to use that term. Um, but it's made entirely out of uh, recycled aluminum cans. Uh, so every bit of color that you see uh, was originally printed on a soda can or a seltzer water can. Um, and I get all the cans uh, from friends and co-workers uh, who, who save it up for me. So it's, it's, it's funny how that can really add up. You don't think about it when you're throwing it in the recycling can, uh, but uh, we, we consume a lot of product. Um, and this piece uh, can be rearranged, so it's kind of like a, a, a kaleidoscope. So this, it can look like this, or I can uh, move it around. Watch as Miranda transforms her wall piece by simply moving it around. She has a wire at the top and the bottom of each piece that allows her to change it. And when she does, it kind of creates a kaleidoscope effect. Each of the four pieces is identical, and when moved, the four of them together become a brand new masterpiece. I nail the little bits of aluminum can to a type of board called MDF, medium density fiber board. Um, so it's a, a pretty heavy board, a real solid compressed wood. I use that because it doesn't have a grain, so it's not gonna split on me when I'm hammering all the little tiny nails in. So that is uh, one type of artwork that I make, a mixed media piece made out of found objects, recycled, post-consumer recycling. I cut the cans uh, just with regular scissors. Um, so here are some cans. I've cut off the tops and bottoms. Um, and then I basically have sort of a sheet of, uh, of aluminum, a very thin aluminum that I can cut easily just with regular old scissors. Um, so what I do is I find like a little spot, a little bit of color that I like on a can and I would cut that out of every can and then systematically arrange them uh, in the design that I've uh, figured out beforehand. Most of my artwork is pattern based. There's a lot of repetition um, and I'm influenced by all types of patterns, everything from, you know, my grandmother's quilting to Islamic tile work uh, to, um, you know, op art, you know, uh, really into shape and color. Um, I have studied uh, weaving um, and have incorporated that in some different pieces. This area right here is woven. Uh, used tape to hold it in place until I got to the point where I nailed it down. Um, so that's something you'd usually do with fabric or yarn, some sort of textile. And there's a lot of kind of textile based influence in my work. I, I kind of think of these as quilts and everywhere where I've put a nail, I kind of think that's where the stitch would be if I was making a quilt. All of the silver that you see um, is the inside of the can. So I've just turned it the other way. Um, so it kind of has a nice little etched effect uh, rather than the, the shiny of the front of the can. So a little, little bit of a different texture. It's of course very reflective, that's actually the name of the series, is, is reflective, uh, which, you know, is speaking to the to the fact that it's shiny and reflective but also the fact that my uh, my technique is very uh, uh, it's a kind of a meditation in action I don't know what the pieces are going to look like until they're done uh, especially my my drawings I'll pencil out a grid and decide where I'm going to start and uh, just do it all in ink um, and that's how I do my drawings with these I, I've said I've planned it out a little bit more um, but, but it does uh, initially start just with an ink drawing um, that I, I don't know what's going to look like until I'm done. Very systematic. Uh, this piece I, I started in this corner, I happen to remember. So on each piece, I would cut a, a, you know, this yellow sort of uh, ovoid shape uh, and 
you know, nail it in before moving on to the next shape. And your nails are in the exact same place? Close. I don't, I don't measure or anything, but I kind of think about it. Um, they're, they're largely where they are just because they need to be there to hold it down because the cans, of course, the pieces of can want to fold back up. They want to, you know, be in that shape again. So uh, each of the nails or, or stitches is uh, as much utilitarian as, uh, as visual. So this is a series of drawings that I did. As, as you saw in my other work, I really like repetition and, and pattern. Um, a lot of times because my work has repetitive elements, people will think that I didn't do it by hand. So as you see, each one looks a lot the same, uh, but I drew each one by hand. So I drew them systematically. I would, I would go through each uh, piece of paper and draw the same little shape on every piece of paper. Um, and if you look closely, you'll see there, there's a lot of variation. Um, but uh, each one was, was hand-drawn. Uh, and, uh, and then what I did was uh, colored them uh, according to the color wheel. So I went around the color spectrum uh, and kind of made a rainbow, which uh, is just, I think, a fun way to organize things. And, you know, I don't know if people are always asking you what your favorite color is, but uh, I, I always say I don't have a preference. They're all wonderful. These are drawn entirely by hand. Um, I pencil out a grid on my paper, and then all of the black lines that you see on there are drawn with pen with no pencil underneath. Um, and I don't know what they're gonna look like until they're done, so it's, I just start at one point and, and move out. Do you start right in the center? Uh, with, with these drawings, I started in the center. Um, with, with different drawings, I just decide where I'm going to start. I, I might start at one corner and move down, or it might be you know, a grid where I, I start here and here and here and here and here and here. So it's, it's you know, just a decision at the beginning where I'm going to start, and then I methodically repeat the shapes uh, at whatever spot I've, I've decided. Uh, and until I fill it up um, and have my, my finished drawing. Miranda refers to creating as her meditation in action. She says, I don't know what my pieces are going to look like until they are completely done. So without a plan, she begins to create, creating in one part of either her small drawings or her bigger pieces one part at a time, creating a repetition that when all placed together creates a beautiful work of art. I love what she said about how the aluminum cans are like the fabric and the nails are like the stitches of a quilt. Special thanks to Miranda Herrick for sharing her beautiful masterpieces with us and for Bennett Galleries for allowing us to hang out in their beautiful space. It was so much fun.